Okay, let's start, guys. Uh, our today's topic is cost of capital. So let's quickly revise the cost of capital. Then we will solve a few question of cost of capital. Okay, I'm just explaining the basics of all cost of capital. So let's discuss the basics of all cost of capital. Let's start from cost of equity. There are two methods to calculate the cost of equity. First one is dividend valuation model. In dividend valuation model, there are two models. If there is a constant dividend, if there is a constant dividend, the formula to calculate cost of equity is dividend divided by X market value. Market value should be X. X market value. Dividend divided by X market value obviously into 100 is equal to cost of equity. So in exam, if dividend is given, if X market value is given, no growth is given, then you can apply this formula. This is no growth model. And in case if growth is given, Different with constant growth. <laughs> then the formula is Ke is equal to D naught into one plus Z divided by X market value plus Z. So what is D naught? D naught is current dividend. Is sal ka jo dividend hoga? Current dividend. And if we add growth of one year into D naught, that will become D1. D1 kate next year ka dividend. D1 kate ji. Next year dividend. Next year dividend. This will be next year dividend. So in exam, if only D1 is given, then cost of equity formula will be D1, this whole numerator will be replaced. D1 divided by X market value plus Z. So the question is, growth kaise calculate karni hai? How to calculate the growth? So there are two methods to calculate the growth. Two methods to calculate growth. Number one method is historical method. Historical method. So what we do in historical method, take the latest dividend in the numerator. Latest dividend in the numerator. And use the earliest dividend. Oldest dividend. In the denominator, raised to power 1 over n minus 1. Remember this. n is number of years except base year. n is number of years except base year. So, actually, this is number of jumps. You will remember number of jumps. So, if there are, like, these are the years. And dividend is like 2, 2.2, 2 2.7, 2.9, 3.2. So the latest dividend, this is the latest dividend. This is the earliest dividend. How many years? You will not count the base year. This is one year, two year, three year, four year. Number of N is four. So this is the historical method to calculate the growth. Okay. There is another method to calculate growth that is Gordon growth model. Gordon growth model. Formula is by the way very simple. That is G is equal to B into R. Formula is very B into R. 
अच्छा बी होता क्या है वट इज बी वट इज आर बी है जी रिटेंशन रेशो रिटेंशन रेशो हाउ मच यू विल रिटेन दैट इज रिटेंशन रेशो सो देर आर डिफरेंट explanation of retention ratio 1 minus dividend payout ratio if you are paying 30% dividend that means you are retaining 70% 1 minus dividend per share divided by earning per share 1 minus dividend divided by profit profit available to ordinary shareholders so retention ratio is If you have paid the dividend, how much you have saved, how much you have retained. अगर तुमने dividend दे दिया है, तो बचाया कितना है? How much you have saved? That is the retention ratio. So remember, profit means profit available to ordinary shareholders. Profit available to ordinary shareholders. R क्या है? What is R? R is return on equity. रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी आर क्या है जी रिटर्न ऑन इक्विटी प्रॉफिट अवेलेबल टू ऑर्डिनी शेयर होल्डर्स डिवाइड बाय बुक वैल्यू ऑफ इक्विटी डिवाइड बाय बुक वैल्यू ऑफ इक्विटी इसका एक और वर्जन भी बन सकता है देर कैन देर कुड बी एन अदर वर्जन Profit after tax is earning per share divided by net asset value per share. Net asset value per share. Remember, what is EPS? Profit available to ordinary shareholders divided by number of shares. What is net asset? Equity is net asset. And what is net asset per share? If you divide the equity book value of equity divided by the number of shares, that will be net asset value per share. So, guys, if you have the R, if you have the B, you will multiply B into R. That could that that will be the growth. The growth formula is B into R. What is the logic behind this? B का मतलब है retain कितना करते हो? How much you retain? R का मतलब है At which rate you are going to invest? B is how much you retain. R is at which rate you are going to invest. So how comes the growth? B you will retain something. R you will invest that retention amount in the market. So if you retain and invest, retain and invest, here's uh, comes the growth. You can earn the growth. If you retain and invest, you earn the growth. ओके, तो कॉस्ट ऑफ इक्विटी हैज टू फॉर्मूलाज लेट्स डिस्कस द कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल कॉस्ट ऑफ डेट सो इफ देर इज अ इरिडीमेबल डेट इन एग्जाम Remember, its formula will be KD is equal to interest rate, interest amount. Sorry, interest amount into one minus T divided by X market value. Market value will always be X. So, in irredeemable debt, agar irredeemable debt a gaya, so you will take interest into one minus T divided by X market value. That is irredeemable debt. So, what about the redeemable debt? Redeemable debt KD will always be calculated through IRR. So, for example, if it is a five-year debt, so what you will do? Put the market value as a negative number. Write the interest into one minus t. Redemption value, first discounting at five percent. 
second discounting at other rate and calculate the irr that irr will be equal to the kd remember few points jab bhi aapne irr calculate karna hai kd calculate karna hai put the market value as a negative number take the after tax value of interest then calculate the uh, then write the redemption value first discounting at 5% answer second discounting at another rate and then calculate the kd so let me explain with the help of an example sir is my error ka formula laga example is par 100 coupon for example 10% redeemable at fifth year at par market value for example 110 x is example 30% so traditionally how to calculate this let's say 5 years 0 1 to 5 and 5 cash loss put the market value as a negative number put the market value as a negative negative market value ko negative number rakh le coupon is a interest rate take its after tax value that is 7 10% of 100 10 then take its after tax value 7 redemption value 100 first discounting 5% answer second discounting other rate answer calculate irr that irr will be equal to the kd but thank god we have a excel now in acca so what is the best way to solve this simply write years 0 1 2 3 4 5 write the cash flows here market value 110 interest rate 7 7 7 7 and in last year it will be 7 plus 100 par value bhi milegi interest bhi milega theek hai we can write this 107 simply command give the command irr bracket start select all cells from 0 to 5th year so that will be equal to the kd guys give me 1 minute let me open the excel file but okay, there is a question that uh, in whenever you want to calculate the market value always take before tax डिस्काउंटेड बिफोर टेक्स डिस्काउंटेड मार्केट वैल्यू में टैक्स नहीं लेते एंड वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द के डी ऑलवेज टेक आफ्टर टैक्स इंटरेस्ट दैट्स द रूल ओके जी लेट्स सपोज दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल राइट इयर्स जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर Five. First of all, write the cash flows. Negative hundred and ten. Seven, 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 and one zero seven. Now calculate KD. KD is equal to give the command of IRR. Bracket start. KD is it is equal to. Four point seven one percent. So that's how to calculate the KD. Okay.
ठीक है क्लियर हो गया ये एक्सेल पे है मैन्युअली आपको पूरा करना पड़े अगर आप एसी के अलावा कोई और पेपर दे रहे हैं तो आपको पूरा करना पड़ेगा नॉर्मल तरीके से जिस तरह ये किया हमने ठीक है जी एनी क्वेश्चन गायस Shall we move? क्या एक्सप्लेन करना है डिस्काउंट फैक्टर ये केडी की बात कर रहे हैं आप किसमें क्या यूज करना क्वेश्चन क्या वो बताया ना अच्छा हाँ ठीक है ओके इन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ एडी ऑलवेज टेक आफ्टर टैक्स इंटरेस्ट लेस इंटरेस्ट ऑलवेज टेक आफ्टर टैक्स इंटरेस्ट एंड कैलकुलेट आई आर आर बट इन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ मार्केट वैल्यू ऑलवेज टेक बिफोर टैक्स इंटरेस्ट नेवर कंसिडर नेवर कंसिडर टैक्स इन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ मार्केट वैल्यू दैट्स यू हैव टू रिमेंबर दिस Take after tax interest in calculation of KD. Take before tax interest in calculation of market value. ठीक है? Perfect. Now let let's move further. अच्छा जी अगर exam में आ गया वेरिएबल रेट डेट बैंक लोन या फिर एफ बॉन्ड इज रीडिंग एट पार And redeemable at par. So in all three cases, case number one, case number two, case number three, formula is simple. KD is equal to interest rate into one minus t. <clears throat> interest rate into one minus t. We will take the after tax value of interest. Interest rate into one minus t. okay and if there is a convertible debt convertible debt how to calculate kd of convertible debt it's very simple same for former so let me write the traditional way traditional or manual way we will write the years फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव ईयर है कैश लॉस पुट द मार्केट एज ए नेगेटिव नंबर टेक द आफ्टर टैक्स इंटरेस्ट और इन लास्ट ईयर यू विल टेक हायर ऑफ रिडम्शन एंड कन्वर्जन रिडम्शन वैल्यू और कन्वर्जन वैल्यू वी हैव टू टेक द हायर वैल्यू हायर ऑफ first discounting at 5% second discounting at other rate you will calculate the irr and irr will be equal to the kd 
what is the difference in this method and the previous method? Both methods are same, except one thing. That is, in last year, either you will take redemption value or conversion value. So what is redemption value? What is redemption value? Either bond will be redeemed at par, either bond will be redeemed at premium. Par se thoda upar mil jayega, like 5% premium means 105. 6% premium means 106. Either bond will be redeemed at discount. 2% discount means you will get 98. So what is conversion value? Conversion value ka matlab kya hai? In convertible bonds, bondholders have the choice to convert their bonds into ordinary shares. Convertible bond may bondholder ke pass choice hai. either they can redeem the bond or they can convert the bond into predetermined number of ordinary shares. Unke pass choice hai, they can convert the bond into predetermined number of ordinary shares. So the formula is conver conversion value formula is number of shares. May aapko itne number of shares de dunga? Your bond will be converted into this number of shares after five years. So, but you do not have market value after five years. You have a market value now. Current market value of share. So what you will do, you will in, in, increase the market value with the estimated growth that how much market value will increase every year. Growth the yogi. Us growth se tum har sal market value nikaloge, har sal market value ko badhaoge. So what is n? Number of years in conversion. Number of years in conversion. Number of shares will be given. Aaj ki market value, current market value will be given. Growth will be given. Sir, ye growth kya hai? Dividend ki growth? No. It's the growth in share price. Growth in share price. Number of years will be given. So you will multiply number of shares into current market value of share into 1 plus Z raised to power N conversion value. You can calculate the conversion value. And in last year, either you have to take the redemption value or the conversion value. In last year, either you will take the redemption value or conversion value. So the tarika kya hai? Simply put market value as a negative number. Simply write after tax value of interest and then take the higher of redemption or conversion. IRR calculate kare answer aadhe. Excel pe kaise karenge? Right. Here 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Market value negative. Interest 1 minus T. Interest 1 minus T, interest 1 minus T, interest 1 minus T. And in last year, interest to milega after tax plus either redemption or conversion. Calculate the IRR. Select all cells. That's how you will calculate the KD. It's not that KD is calling. Okay. Next is preference here. Irredeemable preference here.
formula is cost of preference here is equal to preference dividend divided by x market always take x market value simple never deduct tax in calculation of cost of preference here never deduct tax in calculation of pre preference here redeemable preference here calculate irr of data without tax line ya kis tarah se data hoga traditional way mein usi tarah hoga 0 125 and 5 cash flows market value simple preference here do not simple preference dividend do not deduct the tax redemption value the rate okay irr on excel for example it has a life of 5 years so how to calculate market value preference dividend 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 in last year dividend plus preference redemption value irr select all cells simple that's how you will calculate and then you will calculate the vac vac in vac first of all calculate the market values of all sources equity debt preference here first of all calculate the market value how to calculate the market value of equity calculate number of shares by dividing share capital over par value into market value per share into market value per share debt book value of debt divided by par value into market value per bond preference share book value of preference share divided by par value into market value per preference share so calculate the market values write the cost and then take the average value multiply cal calculate the average value and calculate value for example market value is 1000 market value is 700 market value is 300 total is 2000 and cost of equity is for example 10% cost of debt is let's say 5% after tax cost of preference share is let's say 7% so multiply these two columns 100 to 35 21 156 now vac is 156 divided by 2000 That is seven point eight percent. That's how you will calculate the VAC. इस तरह से आपने VAC निकालना है. Simple. It's very simple chapter. Okay. Any question, guys? Till now. okay the requirement is calculate the after tax weighted average cost of capital of company on a market value basis 
फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन एज बी टेकन फ्रॉम द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंशियल पोजिशन 